Hello everyone and welcome to 5 Minute Makes. I would say Friday 5 Minute Makes, but as we had the Craft Stash Autumn blog hop yesterday, this is a Saturday 5 Minute Makes instead. But either way, we're going to make a quick card that should just take you around about 5 minutes or so. Obviously that was dependent upon your experience with things like die cutting machines and stamping, but for myself it takes about 5 minutes. Now, my card's going to match my nails today, which is purely by coincidence, and this card is actually inspired by one that I created very quickly when I needed to do a kind of sympathy get well card for somebody recently it was actually for my daughter to give to somebody um, I didn't know the recipient but uh, she asked for one and I whipped one up really quickly and I was actually really pleased with the results so I'm going straight on to a six by six inch card base and I've just got some distress oxide here in peacock feathers as you can see spritz with water and I'm just going to splat this on here and I'm going to be really really rough with it so a few splats as well not just the brush strokes so I've just one, done one very, very rough layer there. I'm going to spritz some more water in the ink so it's more watered down, and then I'm just going to apply a bit more in places so this will be a lighter coat. I can't tell you exactly how this is going to look because, of course, everyone's is going to be different. Now I'm just drying mine off to speed this up, but you can, of course, set it aside to air dry. Next, we add some texture, and so I've just got some stamps here. Um, I'm not too worried about what the words say, but I have chosen them from my Jack Frost collection, so they'll work with the snowflake that I have planned for a bit later. So I'm just going to stamp this. I'm not going to use a block because I don't want to stamp the entire image. I'm going to stamp this with frayed burlap oxide and just do a couple of rough stamps, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then with what's left on the stamp, so the little bit of ink that's left on there, I'm just going to stamp a little bit more. So I've just die cut here one of my snowflakes from my Snow Flurry collection. Everything's going to be linked down below for you and this is going to go over the majority of that inking. So you kind of get a partial image because it's the same colour as the background. I'm going to glue this down flat to make this really quick. But if you do have something like uh, the adhesive foam from Craft Stash, that will work really well to boost that up a little bit. Now for contrast, I'm going to pick a sentiment that is really dark in colour. So um, there's lots of different words within my Sentiments for All pack. I'm going to pick something that is generic. It could be used for Christmas, winter time, winter birthday, or it could be used for something else. Now if ever I'm going to snip into one of my Sentiments and I want it to look even, I would snip into it so that it's into three rather than into two. So I've snipped this so it's another year to be amazing. So it could be um, a Christmas card and then it could be a uh, winter wedding, winter birthday, whichever. Either way, you're talking about the following year, another year. So then I can place this and stagger it. And I'm going to put it kind of around about one there. Let's have a look. So I will position before I glue these down and just work on placement where I think things look correct. I could actually just put them down. I quite like them there. That's fine. I like them there. So I'll use some tweezers now just to pick these up so I know roughly where I'm going to place them. And again, I'm going to glue these directly on, but you can use foam if you want to just to lift them up. Now, this is the perfect sort of card to batch make as well. Once you create a design, maybe if you want to do your Christmas cards and do lots of them all at once, this would be ideal. Now, my finishing touch is something, again, I do very often. Not everybody loves it, to be honest. Not everybody appreciates splats and drips, but I really do. Uh, I'm going to do this with some black to echo the black in the sentiment. I've actually got some ink around the lid, so I'm going to be quite careful about lifting, unscrewing this and lifting this off. There we go. I'll probably get messy fingers. I'm lifting the entire thing up, so I've unscrewed the entire tube there. And I'm just going to flick it around the sentiment. So some big ones, top and bottom and then a few smaller ones elsewhere. There we go, so there's a quick mixed media style layered card, lots of dimension, lots of texture in it. It's actually um, completely flat, so I haven't put any foam or anything on there, so I can pop that into an envelope and not worry about the postage. So thank you for joining me for this five minute makes. I'll be back next Friday with another one. This is actually the 13th in the playlist. And if you haven't seen all of the others so far, you can check out the playlist just here.